What is good YouTube, welcome back to the Master Consulting channel, my name is Emil Ross and I help dojo owners all around the world with their student acquisition. Enough about me, um, in today's video I'm gonna show you how you're basically gonna have an appointment and a shower rate of around 90%. More like, realistic is probably like 60 to 90%, but trust me, like if you genuinely use the system, you will get insane appoint insane shower rates. And you may be like, what? 90% shower rate? That's not possible because... I'm, I currently have like a show rate of 20% like almost no one shows up and you get like super emotional when it comes to like uh, systems about student acquisition and stuff like that No, it's possible. Trust me. Like I've seen it over and over again Like it's it's not like I'm gonna t I'm not gonna be like here and tell you like all right every, Like you're 100% gonna have like a 90% show rate after this, right? But if you're at 20% right now and we would get you up to like 40% with this that would be insane already or like 50 which is completely realistic with this, right? I think 50 is super super easy to reach with this you should probably be at like 60 maybe 90 but like 60 is realistic i think right and if we get you up from 20 to 60 if there are 10 lead if 10 people book a class and like in the past only two showed up or if let's say there are 10 people scheduled and for next week and like um currently out of those 10 only two would show up and next week there would be six showing up what the fuck that's crazy let's say you have like a sales conversion rate of what like 50 percent Instead of closing one person next week, you would basically close three person, next, three people next week, right? And because more people walk into your school, you can also train sales better because the easiest way to train something is to actually do it. Now, let's um, straight up jump into this. So I'm, I have, I'm going to basically explain this stuff here for you. I've prepared something here and I'm going to walk you through step by step how we do this for all of our clients and how we um, basically yeah, get our clients 90% appointment, 9% uh, shop rates and stuff like that. So... Um, Basically, as soon as they book a class um, through a calendar or whatsoever, you directly want to send them like an email and a text message. I'm going to so actually show you also in, in just a second how, what these look like. Um, and then basically, um, two days before the class, you want to send them another text and email. Like just a reminder, one day you want to send them another text and email. Um, one day before in the morning of the class, you basically want to call them and just be like, Hey, Susan, uh, you're scheduled for your class later at 4 p.m. Are you still showing up? Blah, 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 blah. Or if they don't pick up, leave them like a voicemail. Although, to be honest with you, We've gotten our clients 90% sure of rates without even doing like any of, without ever having done this call, right? So this call, it's it's good to have, um, right? If, if the emails and texts are not enough, but usually the call thing, it's, it's cool, but it's like, nah, it's not really that necessary, I think. But it's still like, if you're at 20% right now, I would suggest go ahead and do this, right? Like go ahead and do this call as well because it's in the system, but... Anyways, let's continue. So four hours before the class, you want to send them another text and email and one hour before as well. Now, why do we remind them so often of their of their class? Well, it's people people forget stuff. Like you may be like, well, that's insane. I sent them like one email and one one text message, maybe. Or maybe not even a text message, like maybe just one email. Or maybe you don't even remind them at all. Like you call with them, they tell you, Yeah, I'm gonna show up next week on um Tuesday. You write that down and they say and you don't even send them any emails or text messages and you may be like, well, that's in, that's too much. You don't want to remind them that much. Yeah, this is exactly why you're at 20% shop rate right now and we're at basically like a 90% shop rate, right? Which is, well, imagine like out of 10 people book a class, like nine actually show up. Well, out of, yeah, which is insane. Yeah, but anyways. Um, so you want to kind of like maybe take a screenshot here right now of this, of this part. Um, so this is what you have to do. Yeah, so maybe, let me just go back here, sorry. Uh, so maybe uh, go ahead and take a screenshot here real quick. Uh, you don't have to, obviously. You can also just continue with your shitty ass follow-up process, rem class reminder process, whatever right now. Um, okay, let me actually walk you through how this looks like. So we used Go High Level. If you're not fil familiar with it at all, you can still watch this, but you may be like, what the fuck is he talking about? Now, if you're already familiar with the platform Go High Level, then yeah, by all means, this video is going to help you tremendously. Um, if you're not familiar also, like, just check it out like i'm not this is i'm not even i'm not having an affiliate link i'm not getting paid to say this right but they just do such a good job that i suggest you go to this website and you just watch youtube videos about this don't watch it from my channel although we have a quite a few videos about this watch it from other channels or whatsoever right and like just learn about this platform because if you're currently struggling with getting students for your school use this platform and you won't struggle anymore anyways um, and again, I'm not getting paid. I'm not getting paid to say this whatsoever. I'm not, I'm not getting any benefits from it. I just use it myself and I love this platform. Um, so that's that. Basically, yeah. But then you want to have like two workflows for this. So I'm not going to walk through walk you through how to actually build these out and stuff like that because then we would, this video would be a little bit too long, right? But um, basically, yeah. So 
once they um once the class is confirmed so to speak you want to assign this to yourself first of all i don't know why it's, this hasn't been done yet let me just do this real quick um and then you just i kind of want to send them some reminders um obviously this is what the first text message would look like so hi john you're scheduled for your first trial class here are your details blah 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 blah, blah. um and that's basically that um this is what the first email would look like pretty similar and then basically it always looks the same now the important part is that you write something like this below there because it's just unrealistic that they get so many reminders all the time so if you say all right this is actually an automated message um it will kind of make it more realistic that it's um that it's like that they're actually getting all of these messages right because if they're getting them and it, it, they, they may be like well they all look relatively similar etc etc just put it below there and like you'll be on the safe side i think and you may be like well why would i put this there well because if you don't put it there like everyone is just gonna be what what's going on there so put this automated message thing below there as well just so they know they get like reminders but they know it's automated right um it's like triple reverse psychology whatsoever <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. But put it below there, it helps. And then, yeah, you just, like all of these messages do look relatively similar. And we use this for all of our clients and it always works, right? So we always get really, really high show rates, like 90%, for example. Um, and then basically four hours before the class, or no, one day before the class, you wanna add them to another workflow to call them. And then four hours before the class, you wanna remove them from that workflow again. And the other workflow for calls looks basically like this. Um, uh, you call them once. Um, I don't know why this isn't assigned to me yet. Let's do this. You call them once. If they don't pick up, you'll just leave them a voicemail. Um, yeah, and that's basically all you have to do uh, to get insane show up rates. It sounds simple, but go ahead and do this. Implement this. Um, if you want by any chance but us implement this for you, click the first link in the description. You can call a book a call in there with me. You don't have to. It's up to you. I don't really care if you click the link or not. Um, well, I, I... I think it would help your school to be honest with you um, if you click this link but that's up to you i'm not gonna over pitch you whatsoever now have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next video bye bye